And we'll talk about that later. Much, much later. But right now, let's talk about ozone. As part of a comprehensive multi-stage approach to water treatment, ozone is used as a disinfectant right here in this very tank. Let's watch. Ozone gas is generated on site when electricity excites oxygen molecules. The ozone is injected into the water where the ozone molecules decay to form oxygen molecules and free hydroxyl radicals. Parasites like Giardia and Cryptosporidium are inactivated by both ozone and the highly reactive free radicals. Radical man. Ozonation also improves the taste, odor, and color of our water. Looking good, but we're still not done. Time for UV, you bet. Ultraviolet light disinfection, or UV, works by exposing water to intense ultraviolet light. The UV blast alters the DNA of any microorganisms in the water like bacteria, viruses, and parasites, making them unable to reproduce and cause disease. Take that, beasties. Yes, Waterloo Water is A number one. Here's your next water quality quiz question. Which of the following awards has the region of Waterloo received? A, the Exemplary Source Water Protection Award. B, the Water Efficiency Award. C, the Environmental Achievement Award. Or D, all of the above. Think carefully now. Oh, time's up. If you said A, you're right. And if you said B and C, you're also right. And if you said D, all of the above, you're totally right. Yes, the region of Waterloo is a recognized leader in source water protection and conservation of our precious water resources. Meanwhile, back at the water treatment plant, at last, the water is potable. But ozone and UV radiation don't produce any residual to keep water clean all the way to the consumer tap. <laughs> That's why we use chloramine. Yes, chloramine for all your water treatment needs. Chloramine is a combination of chlorine and a small amount of ammonia. Chloramines are weaker disinfectants than chlorine, but are more stable and long-lasting. This ensures safe water to the far ends of our distribution system, and chloraminated water reduces any noticeable chlorine taste and smell. Let's review. About 20% of the water we use comes from the Grand River. It's treated here at the Mannheim Water Treatment Plant blended with purified well water and then sent along its merry way in the water distribution system. Most of the water we drink comes from under our feet. Down in the ground, water is stored in areas of sand, gravel, and rock called aquifers. The region of Waterloo is the largest community in Canada to rely primarily on groundwater. As the region grows, the demand for drinking water will grow. The cost of treating water is enormous. If we can conserve water in our homes and workplaces, this cost can be reduced and will ensure that water will be available for all the needs of our community, even on the hottest, driest day of summer. Friend, do you have a drip? A drippy drip from a leaky faucet? Sure, you say, sure, I've got a drip, Johnny, but it's not a big drip, it's a little drip. Well, friend, I'm here to tell you that even a little drip can be a big problem. So here's the water conservation question. If a faucet drips one drop per second, how much water is wasted in a single day? Think about it now. One drop per second, one day, how much? Is it A, about three liters? B, approximately 1,000 liters? Or would you waste C, 32 liters? Take some time, think it over. If your answer was A, three liters, wrong-o. If you said B, 1,000 liters, it's a drip, not Niagara Falls. But if you said C, about 32 liters, you're right. I've done the math. It adds up to almost 12,000 liters of wasted water every year. Here's what you can do about it. 
check every faucet for leaks. Even a slow drip can waste up to 75 liters a day. You may only have to invest in an itsy bitsy washer to save hundreds of liters of water. Be a leak detective. Read your water meter twice. First at night, when everyone is done using water for the day. And then first thing in the morning, before water's been used. Then find the difference by subtracting the first reading from the second reading to calculate how much, if any, leaked out overnight. If you suspect a leak, find it by checking pipes and connections. Repair leaks immediately. Speaking of toilets. <laughs> Seriously, friends, toilets guzzle gobs of water every time you tip the handle, and that could be three, four, five times a day. The question is this. About how much water does the average 10-year-old toilet use for each flush? So, average toilet, average flush. How much? Is it A, approximately 18 liters or more, B, about 8 liters, or does it take C, about 12 liters? Take some time. Think it over. If you guess B, about 8 liters, guess again. If you said C, about 12 liters, sorry, not enough down the drain. But if you said A, 18 liters of water or more, royal flush. Let's see, 18 liters, five times a day, all year long, consumption alert. That's more than 30,000 liters of highly treated water each year. In fact, in Waterloo Region, the toilet is the number one water user in your home, taking a 29% share of the water use pie. Followed by clothes washers, faucets, and showers. So, here are some toilet tips. Avoid using the toilet as a garbage can. Keep tissues and other refuse in the wastebasket. Take an empty shampoo bottle, fill it with water, and put it in your toilet tank. You'll use less water for each flush. And remember, never use a brick as a water dam because it may crumble and cause plumbing problems. Best of all is to replace your water-guzzling toilets with a new six-liter region-approved model. Yes, replace that bathroom bandit. And you could save up to 20% on your water bill. And as part of the Region of Waterloo's toilet replacement program, you could qualify for... a cash rebate. You know, I've always got water conservation on my mind. And the biggest drain on our water system is lawn watering in the summer. Interestingly, your lawn needs only one inch of water per week to stay green. As the region grows, we'll have less water available if people water too much. The region will implement bylaws to restrict watering. Conserving water is the key. And when it comes to being efficient with water, we're top drawer in Waterloo Region. Here's the question. In 2004, the estimated total regional water savings from conservation programs was nearly 500,000 cubic meters. Now, just how much water is that? Is it A, about enough to fill 20 swimming pools? B, about enough to fill 5,000 swimming pools? Or C, about enough water to fill 14,000 swimming pools? Take some time. Think it over. Well, if you guessed B, 5,000 pools, you'd be off by a bit. And if you said A, 20 swimming pools, you'd be way off. Because the correct answer is C, 14,000 swimming pools. Ooh, that sound means we're all out of time, friends. This is Johnny G saying, remember, water, it's ours to protect. One drop at a time, so go with the flow and be water wise, not otherwise. We'll see you next time on the Waterloo Water Quality Quiz. So long, everybody.
guests of the Waterloo Water Quality Quiz stay at Johnny's house. Consult your ecologist before engaging in any strenuous conservation activity. Known side effects include clean water, clear conscience, and peace of mind. Johnny G's wardrobe is 100% biodegradable. No water was harmed in the taping of this program. This has been a Huge Ideas Johnny G production. Brought to you by the region of Waterloo. This is Johnny G speaking.